It's never too early to enlighten someone. Yes, I'm Tanya and today we are going to cover Akansha Pandey, VP Sales, Flooper Limited. She has been an inspiration for me personally and thousands of other girls because she has achieved so much in such a small time span. So let's get started with her interview. So guys, the wait is finally over. Here with me is Akansha Pandey, VP Sales, Flooper Limited. So let's start with the very basic question. Ma'am, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm also doing good. So what we all want to know is how it all got started and how was your experience as VP Sales of the company? Well, my experience working with VP Sales at Flooper is quite good. I have learned a lot of things. But when I started my career, it was very much difficult for me to understand the process. The reason being is I was not uh, very much aware or familiar about what BD is all about and what all work we have to do when we got into this profession. Uh, but with time, when I came to Flooper, I got a lot more opportunities to learn and explore my skills. So uh, when I, uh, I got hired here at Flooper, I was uh, working as a business development executive. Then I got promoted to business development manager, then a sales head, and now I'm working as a VP sales. So my experience is quite fantastic here. That's very great. Okay, ma'am. So the next question I want to ask you is, can you just brief me about the work process of Flooper? Like how do you work and how are you going to manage all your clients? Uh, basically, uh, we are using agile methodology in order to get the work done for our clients. The reason we choose uh, agile methodology is uh, when the client comes up with any requirements. So there are certain things that are pre-decided, but a lot more things uh, the client decide when they, the project got started. So in order to make the changes, random changes at the time when client is asking for any kind of change, we have to change the, our system as well. Because uh, what happened is if we are using any other like a waterfall or any other model, the changes are very much difficult. Because if suppose we are in process three and I have to make any change in process three or process two, I have to go back to process one and then only I can get the change done in process three. But what happened in Agile is, if I want any kind of change in process 3 or process 2, I can just uh, make some tweaks there itself. That will not be hampering my much of the time in the work. So this is the basic reason that why we are using Agile methodology. Okay, okay. So that's clearly understood. So my next question is, see, uh, I understand you are the VP sales of the company. You would have a lot of responsibilities and then you would have no time for your personal life but I have seen you playing Candy Crush so I just want to ask you how do you manage to make that time and play that game? Uh, so basically uh, I never love playing games like Candy Crush or any other game but whenever like I find myself like I have a lot of work to do and I am not able to decide like what I have to do in the first priority or so at that time I prefer to have just five minutes for Candy Crush the reason being is by that time I make myself prepared for like what I have to do next and what next so this is the reason just for like if I play Candy Crush, it's just for 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's me time, what you guys should know. Okay. So now, the next question we should move on, on is like, I know, I know you will have a lot of clients. Okay. So now, how are you going to convince them? Like, what is the magic trick that you have that convinces all your clients to get their projects? Uh, well, there is no magic uh, trick, I would say, and uh, there is no rocket science in convincing a client. It's all about the way we are communicating with the client. First of all, a client is just a stranger for me. So first of all, I have to make a very friendly uh, relation with him. So just in order to get an interaction, uh, we have to start with like having a friendly conversations like how the family is all about, how's the weather, how's the business, how's everything kind of stuff and then second most important when it comes to client business I have to tell him why his business is important and how he can get benefits from his business 
And the third major important thing is we have amazing benefits that we are offering to the clients. Like uh, we are providing 2.5 years of technical support and maintenance and we are providing 9 months of app marketing and promotion. So these things are something because uh, no one is going to provide these kind of benefits. And definitely uh, the maintenance and the marketing is something that is going to charge a lot more to the clients. So everyone wants one stop solution. So that's the um, trick you can say I use to convince my clients. That's really great. Okay. So yeah, one more question I would like to ask because I ended up thinking about that. That of course, in a mobile application development company, you have to download so many of applications. Okay? Yes. So I just want to ask how many dating apps you have in your phone and how many you use? <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, might be you people will not believe it, but I have never used any dating application. Even I haven't downloaded it in my phone yet. I have heard that like, uh, there are a lot more applications like Tinder happen. Even if clients are asking for me, like I want this kind of application or so, I just um, see the description in uh, Play Store or App Store and I understand their uh, idea. That's it. I never downloaded any dating app in my phone. That's truly unbelievable for me, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm believing it on camera. <laughs> okay, so ma'am, the next question for you is like, what about the timeline? Like if I am a client and I have to develop my application, then of course I will have certain time limits, right? So how are you going to manage that? Uh, basically, uh, the timeline for any project depends on like what exactly what kind of app you are looking for or what all requirements you have. So specifically, if I talk about the average timeline for any project, so it's a uh, uh, minimum you can say of 45 working days so that's just for the development time and uh, the wireframes in the designing timeline is excluded on this okay and and what if if it is going to like if i'm not agreeing on that timeline or maybe it is too much for me then what is the solution so on that case i um, see i won't be making any kind of wrong commitment to client if there is a work that has gone to be like completing after 40 days 50 days 60 days so whatever the timeline would be even if I can discuss or negotiate over the cost, but when it comes to the time, I can understand that uh, clients for uh, for clients like time <coughs> is more than money. So I never uh, convince them for the low time frame. Even if I can, they can say like I, um, I can pay extra cost or so. There are a lot more things, but I will never say yes. The reason is, I if I know that this particular thing will take 45 or 50 days to get developed, so I won't be committing that that this can be done in 30 days. So I want to have a very transparent relation from client uh, with the client from day one. Obviously, that is the secret to success. <laughs> Being <laughs> yes. honest. Okay. So uh, now enough about the applications. Mm. Enough about the clients. Next question is. Of course, you are the VP sales, okay? <laughs> See, this is something I'm repeating so much. <laughs> so how do you manage the team? How do you manage the sales team and all the office, entire office, every employee, everyone? I think you people will not believe, but I have never used any kind of CRM or anything to manage my team or leads. Uh, I might forget a lot of things, but when it comes to sales or when it comes to leads or clients, I never forget even a single lead. I am handling a team of like 12 to 13 people in sales and uh, I know like uh, what all clients they have and what all leads they have. So I keep a very good eye on them. Okay. <laughs> that is, see, that is what we know, okay. But we need to know how do you do that. Like, see, see you have priorities, right? You have home, you have work, then you have a team. So how do you manage the team? See, for me, like what I think is like uh, work, especially uh, when I talk about sales, it's just my passion. So for uh, when it comes to work and sales, I never give priority to any other thing. I just focus on my work and my team. That's it. Okay. So yeah, now the very quick question which I'd like to ask is, how do you manage your personal life? Like what is the weekend for you? For me, weekend is uh, like roaming here and there, going to any mall, clicking some good pictures, posting them, getting good comments from people. <laughs> That's it. And majorly on Sundays, uh, like what I prefer is I joined an NGO. So I spend most of my time on Sundays there, uh, teaching small, small kids, underprivileged kids especially, and making them smile. Wow. That's all my weekend is all about. That's super, super cute. Okay, so we have heard so far about development, designing, wireframes and everything. But what about the deployment? Like 
are you also guys going to deploy the application to app stores and play stores yes uh, definitely we are going to do that the reason being is most of the clients are not that much technical and they don't have the techy background uh, so most of the time we have to guide them in order to like how to deploy the application on the respective stores so what all we need from the client is like uh, they just have to provide us with the credentials and then our team is going to make the application launch there Okay. Yes. So, like, I'm sure that you might face some troubles in also hosting this application. Yes. Sometime uh, the troubles definitely came. So at that time, uh, what we can do is like we can just tell client like what all technical things are there, what all technical aspects are there that are dealing the uh, project deployment. That's all we can do. Okay. So the last question here is, what after Flooper? Like, what are your future plans? Well, my uh, Flooper plan is just to uh, make Flooper grow more and more. And uh, if I talk about my dream regarding Flooper is uh, to make Flooper grow more and more and to make Flooper like a multi-millionaire billionaire company. That's all my future plan is all about. That's so dedicated and that's so good. Thank you so much, ma'am, for giving me the opportunity to take your interview. Okay, so yeah, this was it. This was Akansha Pandey and I'm sure you will get to inspire with this interview and give a big like and subscribe to the channel and comment down if you like the video and you, if you want to ask something personally to her.